Hi, Nick. Hey. <clears throat> Are you ready? <clears throat> my voice took that. <laughs> that my bleh, My voice chose that exact moment to crack up a little bit. <laughs> of course, right? Um, hey. Hey. <laughs> um. Hey. Um. So. Are you ready to look at this cool new game? Yeah. I'm I'm excited to show you and the people of the internet. <laughs> I uh yeah, I've been super interested in this since you linked it to me a while ago. Yay. Line, I pray that a strong wind might hasten the ship bearing this letter. <clears throat> Tuki in the chat says, Is that a serpent in your stag lines, or are you just really happy to see me? Oh dear. <laughs> is that is supposed to be really tiny? Um, it is at the moment because I can't um, get into the menu to make it full screen. Oh, but yeah, I think this oh, is also really tiny anyway. But I fear he will find okay. sanctuary in the stag lines. I was not prepared for FMV to be in this. Me neither. So. Um, ben has been playing, my boyfriend, for those in chat, uh, has been playing this for a while, and he suggested to me that before I streamed it I should probably, like, look around a bit, just so that I can, uh, um, like, know what's going on better. <laughs> because mm -hmm. this is a little, it, it's very old school. So I was like, okay, so I played yeah. for about an hour yesterday, so that I have some handle on what we're gonna be doing. <laughs> Okay. Um, so this is the title screen, which I think is really cool. Yeah, that looks cool. Um, and there's a whole online manual, which I'm gonna read before I play this, like for serious. And it's not like 120 pages, so. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, exactly. It's it's pretty cool. But for this, we're just gonna explore for a little while. Yeah. And I have a save game, but we're just gonna start new because I want to show you character creation. Yeah, let's jump into it. Yeah. FMV! <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. So she asks you some questions. Um, and I oh, have cool. no idea what these affect, if anything. <laughs> so, oh, really? Yeah. So This doesn't, like, give you your character? Not that I can tell. Huh. Yeah, so I'll have you answer these ones, because I, um, okay. When the gods were formed and you claim the moon is your dominion, which god did you ally with? The carrion god who hungers for flesh, the god of spring who nurtures and heals, the trickster god, a shapeshifter, or the god of forging, wrapped in flames? Uh, let's go with the trickster god. Okay. And she writes Because of your love of Loki. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you passed through the clouds one night and saw a small fleet of boats tossing in the rocky waters near the coast of the staglands, lost and despairing, why did you reach down and part the clouds so your moonlight could guide their way to safety? One, I admired their ambition and hunger for knowledge of new lands and did not wish to see such spirit quenched. I would not have wished for so many to die when I had the power to change their fate. I knew such an act would inflame gratitude and love in the hearts of several generations of adventurers. Or sheer coincidence, I'm afraid. If the mortals of the Staglands wish to think me their savior, so be it. Huh. Didn't think you were going to be quizzed today on stream, did you, Nick? <laughs> uh, I like that first one. Okay. When you first set foot in the staglands and showed yourself to the new settlers, what animal shape did you take on? A black furred wolf followed by my pack, a slinking red-eyed lynx, a great white-tailed fox, or a magical four-horned antelope? Uh, a fox. That goes with the trickster god mm, pretty well. Yeah. But also, also foxes are one of my favorite animals. Foxes are pretty great. 
And the Zana that you seduced after a winter solstice festival. What gift did you leave behind as you slipped away from her as the moon disappeared into the dawn? A white rose, a singing so, wisp, a sparkling citrine, or good memories? <laughs> what's a Zana? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure mine said Dryad when I took this quiz. <laughs> oh. Um... A singing wisp. Okay. Sultron chat says, ooh, a rur pig? Oh, RPG. Gotcha. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? A what now? I thought maybe that was like another name for a fox? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This game looks really cool. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh. That's interesting. Nikolai. What? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. That's good. Let's go with it. <laughs> My lord Nikolai, what's happening? Why are you still here? Have you laid all here? Have you laid here all night in such a state? There's no voice acting. I'm not going to read everything. But it's such a small... Okay. It was kickstarted. Um, and I meet, missed this sure. Kickstarter completely. Um. So, my, it says, my visit is of the most serious nature. Something's happened. Uh, mm -hmm. As I was casting spells to open my portal to return to the moon, <laughs> I... <laughs> I found like you do. Yeah, yeah. I found myself blocked as if my portal was unlinked. I laid here most of the night ethereal, trying every spell I knew. In my stupor, I dreamt of a dame in a cloak with green eyes. She was reading my past from a tomb as if she was reading a eulogy. Uh, he asks if it's a prank at the hands of another god, but it, and he says it can't be a mortal's work. Um, and we say, my portal was an ancient gift not easily tampered with. Uh, Erlene says his brother has told him some things that seem odd lately, missing counselor, spirits pouring from their chasms, insults traded between races and places of power. Um, so then Erlene says... Oh yeah. Hmm. Wait, hang on. Yep. Can you... You can't hear the radio in the other room, can you? No. Okay. Nope. Good. Uh, so then Erlene says, I don't know what I can do to aid you, my lord. I can't open your portal. Um, can't create any sanctuary. And then he suggests that we travel in mortal form, even though he knows we can be slain as such, but we need to find answers. Um, and then he asks, what form do we want to take? And now we get to make our character. Aha! <laughs> so, um, I spent like a good time, a good amount of time on this last time, <laughs> last night. Um, so you might be a boy or girl. Um, and then the races are the Varuchov, which are like very pale elves. Um, Pasarn, who are a matriarchal warrior society. Um, the Emithavian, which are pretty purple elves. Like, and they're kind of webbed, it looks like. Okay. Like, in the water. Um, like, they're water elves? Yeah. And a lock of Vinian. I forget what these guys are. Oh, farmers, basically. Um, and the Tatorith. Um, and they kind of seem like hobbits to me. They really like food and they're traders. Hmm. So, and then each of them has, um, instead of, like, a racial bonus, you get, like, to pick how you were raised, basically. So, like, horned ladies, um, you gain a hit chance buff when you're underground, because the horned ladies became extremely adept at fighting in the dark and rocky grounds of their cavernous retreat. Stuff like that. Mm. So, 
Anything drawing you in? Uh, um, I, I don't know. <laughs> Chloe Firebird says, go matriarch society. Which one was a matriarch society? The Pisaran. Okay, choose those. Okay. Do you want to be a boy or a girl? Um. Look at this guy. Care. Look at this guy with the pipe. Yeah, that guy. The guy with the pipe? The guy, yeah, the pipe guy. Okay. Yeah. Look, he's winking at us. And then, um, basically. He looks kind of like Austin. Yeah. Basically, you pick <laughs> two heads, which, like, but for your. So we'll go with that one. Um, and we have two stat points. Um, I have no idea what's good yet, but um, a cult is... Let's put it in, in intelligence and dexterity. Okay. A cult is the only, like, not typical one, and that one is, like, magic, basically. Okay. So, okay, here's our person. Oh. Uh, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> this is simple the name for the simplify the yeah. name a little bit for the god form mm -hmm. so the mortals can <laughs> identify um, and then he says we can create some more avatars now to accompany us or we can seek out companions and there's a couple of companions like right around here so we can make somebody else or we can recruit somebody there's <clears throat> two people around. Now, here. let's let's seek out companions. Yes. Okay. Um he says he can offer the services of his ne nephew Wilhelm and our strongest ac acolyte Catalina. Um and he says send them back to the temple when you can as they're both important to the temple and I'm rather fond of Wilhelm especially. And he says he'll give us some emeralds, which are the currency here, which is pretty cool, I think. And he says that we need to disguise ourselves, um, and we're going to say we're a merchant. Why do we need to disguise ourselves if we just made a body <laughs> from scratch? I have no idea. So this is the temple, and the interface it looks pretty Baldur's Gatey. <laughs> I'm gonna it's save. really, um, save. I like how sort of super intricate and gothic everything looks. Same. Like there's a, it's pixel art, but mm -hmm. there's like, it's like pixel, pixel art with grit. Yes, <laughs> for sure. Um, so yeah, there's some pools here. Seer says the gods, the god's full name is Nick 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 Nickelodeon. <laughs> um, That's kids used to call me that in grade school. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Aww. Um. See, I really like. Oops. Well, I knocked everything off my desk. Hold on. Not everything, but. <laughs> um. So this is. This statue depicts you beckoning the first settlers to safety. So you're a big deal around here. <laughs> Yeah, apparently. Um, the so when I first started this, I felt like when I first started Baldur's Gate two at thirteen years old and was like, "Oh my god, what is everything?" But <laughs> <laughs> it's not too bad. Um, you have three skill books of all your stuff, um, and you can. That was a lot of numbers. I know. Go back to the previous yeah. screen. Um, yeah, I basically looked at well, that and was holy like... Holy crap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's, like, numbers and arrows pointing to different numbers. <laughs> what? A, and you can click on it and it will that? explain, like, your armor class is item, armor class plus skill mods, physical damage is strength divided by two, plus your weapon damage, plus skills, plus proficiency. So that's what all the, like, plus, plus, plus... <laughs> Um, Epic Open World says, is this turn based? You can um, go into the options and turn on as many of these auto pauses as you want. 
Oh. So it's, so it's just it's just an Infinity Engine game. Basically, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Kickstarter says it's a cross between Baldur's Gate and Darklanders, which is an even older CRPG. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's a game... <clears throat> I got that on uh, GOG a while ago. Same. Right? Can you check it out? Same. <laughs> I touched it. Um, so, yeah, and it also kind of reminds me of the first Diablo in style. Sure. Yeah, I can see that. And I love this pause thing over here, this, like... Yeah. Oh, and you can pause at any time with the space bar or by clicking on that angel. And there's even a quick save button over here. Oh, that's cool. Um, so... Um, Jay's in the chat says, I'm getting more Planescape feel from this. Mm. Yeah, that mm -hmm. too. Though none of them are still, like, none of those are still have the same sort of grit look to it. Yeah, like, this is like... I, I can't really... I can't really describe it, but yeah, I, I, it's just this game looks really unique. Mm -hmm. So this is Wilhelm. Uh, your uncle said he might be willing to escort me to Emerald Metallus. Uh, he says he's handy with throwing elixirs. He's a good woodsman. Um, so now we can have him join us, or we can bind his soul to our bidding so he doesn't leave. <laughs> Which is a little evil, I think. <laughs> um, or we can just say nah. Um, I mean, can we have him hang out with us without binding his soul? Yes. Yep. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's do that. <laughs> okay. So then, your new companion hastily packs a satchel for the road, and you're on your way. And now we have a companion. And he is, um... Actually, I guess they're not elves, because they don't have pointy ears. Oh. I mean, I don't even know if they have pointy ears in here. And I guess there's not really strictly elves in here, either, if I'm being picky. What's this? As you approach the book embedded into the wall, you notice dried blood on its spine and a slight metallic odor hits your senses. With a sense of foreboding, you move forward undaunted or decide that satisfying your curiosity isn't as important as keeping your limbs intact. <laughs> uh. Oh gosh, I don't know. <laughs> you pick this one. Let's do it! When Reed shut shuts the book, you feel a sharp pain in your finger and are surprised to see your own blood streaming out of it. A blank page opens, and as your blood drips on it, the book absorbs it as if it's ink. You press your finger to a page, drop the book, and walk away. Yeah. So now we have the Whoa. book. What? <laughs> I'm just drawing pictures uh, okay. in blood, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why are we doing that? I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, don't, we need like we need to keep some of that inside of us, like the. We're a moon god. This is fine. <laughs> yeah, but we're a moon god in a mortal body now. Like right. we still, like. <laughs> the book closes with a sharp twist, as though snatched by an invisible hand, and dark clotted blood begins seeping out of its pages. Without thinking, you. Touch it cautiously with one finger. The blood feels thick and slightly unpleasant. Looking around to see if anyone's looking in your direction, you catch the remaining drops falling from the book into an empty vial. So now we have a stopper of creepy book blood. Great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is a good game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm into it. Uh, so we're, I think we're in the library. Um, library of blood. Blood. Oh yeah, so we should. Um, oops. We should pick our skill points. Um, oh, and because we pick, I forgot to pick a background, but it gave us Quijev, which gives us damage plus damage with a whip. Okay, that's cool. Mm-hmm. I'm into it. 
so we these are all the combat skills so you can pick between that oops um magic or um can i not oh or um like woodwise will let you talk to animals Linguistics will let you talk to monsters. Herbology is like potion making. So you get to distribute it between those three things, basically. I want to talk to animals. Okay. Woodwise. Um, let's give ourselves a combat skill. Oops. No, I don't want to. Mm -mm. Oh, and you can do this, like, this will do, like, quick scrolls, quick spells. Um, oh, okay. Wait, there's a cat polymorph? What is that? I want to turn into a cat! Alright, let's do it! <laughs> yeah! Let's, let's just turn into a cat right now okay. and spend the rest of the game talking, talking to all the other cats. Okay. Just set cat party. Hmm. Okay, we're a cat now. <laughs> Yay! Wow. Look at look at us. Look at that guy. We are the cutest cat. He's a good little kitty cat. Oh, we're not a cat anymore. <laughs> oh. It doesn't last very long, I guess. Um. So that gives us our dodge. That buffs our dodge chance. Being a cat. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Let's rifle through these cupboards. Ooh, stuff. <laughs> we picked up... Open it so violently that everything just, like, falls <laughs> right up the floor. Writing tools and a torch. Mmm, torch. Kitchen knife, salt, and meat. Yep, yeah, um, basically our only weapon for a... W At least that's the only weapon I've found so far is the kitchen knife. <laughs> okay. We gotta get our hands on a whip. Yeah. Dusty book. Some... A barrel. And sometimes when you break the barrels, um, they spill sticky sap. So you get stuck for a minute. Ooh. And some of them will do oil so everyone will fall down. <laughs> that Does it make a little cartoony, like, slip, slide whistle noise? Yes. No. <laughs> Rope. That's basically a whip. That sounds useful. I mean, you always gotta have a rope. That's a store master, but we don't have a whole lot of emeralds. Oh, we could sell that thing we just picked up. Where the heck are we right now? Are we in like, We're in like a, a temple? Uh huh. Devoted to us, yeah. Devoted mm -hmm. to us? Okay. Why aren't these people like freaking out a little more? I have no idea. <laughs> their, their, their god is literally walking among them. Well, we're in disguise right now, though. The, oh. the only one who saw us in our god form was Erline. Okay. I pick up a world. No, there's no voice acting. You gotta read everything. Which is fine. For is, there, is there any sound, though? Yeah. I actually haven't heard anything this whole time. Oh. Yeah, there is sound. Are you not hearing the music? No. Oh. Um. Hmm. Let me see if I can fix that. One second. Is it? Oh, I know why. It's off cool. in voice meter. The last time. Can you hear it now? Or. <laughs> it's very quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I can hear it now. It's because the last time I streamed, it was with Soha, and we were doing Portal Two. Oh right. Sure. So she didn't need to hear me. So I turned yeah. off the B bus. We just picked up some biscotti. Can we get some coffee? And a bone. 
Man, I could use some coffee right now. A bone from an unknown source? <laughs> a hard cookie made with salt, nuts, chicken eggs, and wheat? Oh, I had chicken eggs. <laughs> I thought it I thought it was chicken comma eggs. And oh, I'm like no. <laughs> what? Chicken cookies? <laughs> Yum. <laughs> I mean, you know, we'd probably love that a lot when we're in our cat form. Probably, yeah. Matt calls the cat treats cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah keeps her cat treats in a cookie jar, which will probably end poorly someday. So basically, all these people have like a lot. Uh, there's a lot of flavor going on there. Um, incantation book, language words of power. I like these little pools. Yeah, those are neat. He's cooking ducks. Yeah, roasting duck. Can we talk to the duck? Uh, that one's dead, but there are d ducks outside we can talk to. <laughs> Okay. Study of goblins, runic code. Oh, and there's a whole like. What's uh? Um. Oh, oh, good. There was a festival last night. Um, for us. Like the moon, like it was oh, a moon okay. festival or something. So Is that why we were hanging out down here? I guess, yeah. Whoa. It just started raining like really heavy I here. I just heard it. Wow. It's like, it's one of those weird summer rains where mm. it's still actually kind of light outside. Oh, yeah. Everything's sort of yellowish. Good, maybe it'll cool things down because mm. it's gross here. It's not bad today here. Erlen standing near the gates with a scroll in his hand, bags packed, several worry lines creasing his brow. He hails you and Nick steps forward. Uh, it might all be a prank, but I cannot shake a feeling that dark times are upon us. It seems unwise to draw attention to yourself, so I've prepared a few items for you. I think it's best to travel as a spicer. They're known to be a curious type of merchant that moves freely and asks many questions. Perfect for you in your search for whoever means you ill. Um, spice merchant visited recently left behind her documents granting her rights of trade. I'm afraid we couldn't locate them when she returned looking for them. A pity. But I'll give you them so that you will not be questioned. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyone I should avoid? Uh, be safest to trust no one, even the Arbiters and Vikings. Um, anywhere you recommend traveling. We're gonna seek out his brother. Um, he's going to Corum. He says, your attacker might have been might have more brewing than a locked portal, and where better to hide a plot than in that city? If I find anything, I'll try to get you word. And we're gonna say, I'll return as I may. <laughs> and here we are, on our own. <laughs> Were those ducks? Armed only with a kitchen knife? <laughs> here, here's a duck. The duck appears to be digging for insects. What ho, duck! <laughs> With your woodwise skill, you can read the duck's intentions, but all it is interested in currently is food. <laughs> chicken! The chicken looks at you with glassy eyes. What ho, chicken! <laughs> what ho, chicken! <laughs> uh, chicken is also only interested in food right now. Aw, oh, come on. Emeralds. An 
Uh, ox. Whoa. Oh, those things look really weird. Yeah. <laughs> what ho, ox? Nothing seems to be going on in that oversized skull. <laughs> the, when you walked over there, they look like ghosts with, like, skeleton heads? Yeah, they're really weird. I, st I still can't really quite make out... These ones, these ones right here are showing us their butts. This one has its face at the top. Oh, you see okay. see it now, kind of? Like, there's its nose down here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and if you hit M, you zoom out a little so you can see, like, the bigger map. Um, oh, that's cool. But you can't click anywhere. You can just look, basically. There's no world map that I have found so far. Side joke says, by the Moon Lord's decree, no barrel shall go unsmashed. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Um, we're level 1, so we have 24 hit points and 26. We're, we're not... great. <laughs> oh, where is um that girl? That would be a lot of hit points if this was Baldur's Gate. Yes. Because at Baldur's Gate, when you're level 1, you have, like, 6 hit points. Good luck! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, where was, where's that lady? I know I picked her up out here somewhere. What are those strange... Are those fungus of some kind? The red things? No, the sort of, like, funnel foldy oh, things. Oh, yeah, they're, like... I, my guess was they were weird mushrooms. Okay, yeah. Basically, all these barrels have sap in them, also. Oh, see, you just slipped in oil, <laughs> so you're on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Catalina. What ho, spicy? Thou saw nothing. <laughs> Um, Erlene said you might be willing to join me. Yes, where you're going. We meant to do that. <laughs> Somewhere you can kill better game than crop goblins. Uh, we can bind her soul goblins. to our bidding, or we can just go. Let's just go. Okay, so now I have three people. She packs her satchel and we're on our way. I really like that, like, fade away. Oh, now we all fell down. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what does it do to bind people's soul? Like, I don't know. I didn't. Are we taking away their will? I think so. If we do that? Yeah, like they wouldn't be able to come back, I guess. Or like leave our side, maybe? Oops. I will, like, does that mean they might do stuff uh they might like if you don't bind their souls are they mm. gonna like decide to like us anymore i'm not sure maybe or decide that they don't want to attack something that we tell them to attack I hope not. <laughs> um last night i died pretty quickly in this first area and then i was like okay that's enough so i can you know be on stream friends <laughs> yeah. Um. Do a quick save and let's find something to attack. Yeah, um, this way I think. Oh, it pauses when you do a quick point. save. <laughs> okay, so I have it paused so, um,. It'll pause when an enemy is in sight, because that's what I'm used to from Baldur's Gate. So this is a, cr yeah. a crop goblin. <laughs> this little tiny thing. Uh -huh. oh. It dropped a kitchen knife. Does everybody have a weapon right now? Yeah, okay. See, now you're already down to 14 of your 24. Let's stick this helmet on you. Yikes. So let's quick save, and there's one up there. 
It's how do how do we heal? Is there There's potions and um when I was fighting these guys last time they um oh my gosh, everybody fight it. Um they dropped healing fungus and I'm hoping they do it this time too. Nope, just another kitchen knife. Can you rest? It doesn't heal? No, it doesn't look like there's a rest to heal. Oh. And your journal? Uh is your own notes and recent conversations. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yep. <laughs> um, we have... This is our map. Like, I okay. guess this is where we are now. Like, good luck. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So it's, it's very old school. So yeah, we need to... We need to figure out, um, we need to heal. And if you... There's gotta be a rest, or make camp or something. Oh, yeah, I wonder if there's, like, inns or something. They make a weird noise. I think, I wanna say this is around where I died last time, because there's two of them. Oh, oh, yep, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Death marks your flesh for the carrion god. That's, that's cool. Yeah. Um. A lot of the Steam reviews right now are left starting area got killed by Fox 11 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, um, let's see. Yeah, if I hit R, which is the universal, like, rest, nothing. Come here. They make, like, a little chicken noise. Yeah. Ah, healing fungus. I'm not sure if it's if you die, then every then I think it's just the contingent on you. Sure. I'm right clicking, it's not using it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh shoot. We weren't in the right person's inventory. Oops, okay. Let's see if- hopefully he has some. Oh, you're dead again. <laughs> also- I'm trying to Google. Resting? Or healing or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, honestly, might not be in there. Um... And I also, um, yeah, I think it's just potions and the healing fungus, so. But yeah, it's also like... That seems really hard. Uh-huh. Um, it's doable, though, because apparently Ben is up to level 12. <laughs> like, his character. <laughs> Um, he said that it is... Yeah, okay, so I just had some healing fungus. Ooh. Okay. Um. Oh, we should cast a spell. Can any of you cast spells? So. Oh wait, can anyone just... Hmm. Do we... Wait, is Wilhelm in our group? Mm-hmm, yep. Yeah. He's apparently a mage. Oh. And can apparently cast a heal spell. Feel... 
blood cocoon. That's gross. Is that what it is? Festering? Yeah, blood. that's the heal spell. Great. Magic is pretty. Ooh. Yeah, that's cool. Nick has full health. <laughs> Yay. We did it. Wilhelm's wand is still like magicking. <laughs> okay. Let's get him. Flesh wounds. Oh no, don't oh. die, don't die. Ah, I went right for you, what a little jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> but yeah, I guess I'm gonna quick save after every battle. <laughs> yes, chat, geese are very grumpy. Don't go near them. Swans are also very grumpy. <laughs> Let's go a different way. <laughs> Let's see what else there is to explore around here. Okay. Uh, where are we? This music is nice. Hello, chicken. Duck. <laughs> chickens oh that's a okay that's a fox two foxes <laughs> oh they went right for uh, Wilhelm you're gonna die in a second I needed to heal you whoops <laughs> oh man <laughs> epic. epic open world in chat yeah ask how did Ben get to level 12 I have no idea Just, uh... I'm gonna have to ask him for some tips <laughs> Yeah. Is it is it like the middle of the night there right now? Mm, it's seven in the it's like seven in the morning. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> or seven. Yeah. Whatever time it is for me, it's the opposite time for him. Or I mean, it's the same time but the opposite level of light. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's 12 hours difference. Yes. Mm -hmm. How many times can he cast Blood Cocoon? Yeah, what's the... Is there, like, mana? A mana pool? or? It doesn't look like it. Do we have to, like, rest? Well, but there's no resting. There's no resting. <laughs> I'm definitely going to read the manual before I... Like, delve into this also. Um, and the whole manual's online, so you can read it before you buy it, if you want. And there's also a oh, that's demo. Well, let me see if I can find the manual. Is it just on there? It's on their website, website yep. Fox. I only want one of them to come up to me. Oh, that's a wolf now. Okay. Wow. Yeah, this is... <laughs> that merchant doesn't even have any better weapons. He just has healing potions. Do we just have to run? Mmm, good. Yeah, we can try that. Mmm. 
Oh, he saw me. I'm just gonna try it. <laughs> Got him. Edible heart. <laughs> yeah. We'll provide a small regenerative boost. Okay. Blood cocoon! <laughs> what a gross name for a heal spell. <laughs> Wait, can everyone? I th yeah, Nick just cast that on Wilhelm. I think everyone just has spells. Weird, okay. Oh, really? I guess, yeah. Alright. Okay, that wolf that was there the last time isn't here anymore, so that's nice. Oh, there's another fox. Oh god, what is that? Fane? Is that a person? Oh. A flame-haired man in traveler's garb waves eagerly to you as you near the entrance of the courtyard. The hilt of a sword is only half covered. His face shows no sign of malice. Nick steps forward. Hail, Spicer. Leaving the temple, can I ask what business brought you there? Uh, we're a traitor, yeah. Aha, okay. Hmm. Resting. Oh! There are a few ways to rest in the Staglands. You may speak with an innkeep and pay a few emeralds for a bed. Okay. You can also buy camping supplies and rest in oh. wilderness areas, although you need someone preferably adept in the woodwise aptitude to keep watch. Okay. Uh, as it's likely you'll be set upon by local wildlife. Okay. When you rest, your party regains full health with the exception of the person keeping watch. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Is there is there an inn back in our um, temple? Maybe. <laughs> oh, he helped us with that fox. Cool. Was he just hostile? Okay. <laughs> Wait. That was weird. I'm gonna reload that. Did we just did we just kill a person? Uh, Fane killed one of our party members, and because he was hostile, because the fox, I think. I don't know. I'm gonna reload that. Uh, okay. DSHS70 says, I like the idea of a world where the only available medical care is a cocoon made of blood. My head is really killing me right now. Blood cocoon! <laughs> <laughs> and Epic Open World says, No offense to the devs, but being this hardcore during the first hour of the game is going to drive a lot of players away, just my opinion, though. Um, they are very upfront with how difficult it's going to be. Like, they're not trying to yeah. Like, they wanted it to be like this. It's like an old CRPG. I mean, it, if you go where you're not supposed to go in ba the first Baldur's Gate, you're going to be dead. Same with, oh, same with Icewind Dale. Because, you know, you have six hit points. <laughs> oh, cool. The, the world is inspired by Bronze Age Transylvania. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to read the manual. <laughs> it's got, uh, it includes Roman Romanian mythology. All that kind of stuff. That's cool. That's really cool. Um, depending on how often we keep getting killed, I might cut it shorter than the two hours. <laughs> because it's not, yeah. it's not super fun to watch me get murdered over and over. <laughs> Especially these two wolves. Oh, get him, get him, Actually, get him. I kind of wouldn't mind it being shorter. Okay. Because it's really, it's really hot in here, and oh, my no. computer chair is, not, <laughs> yeah, is uh, not the coolest place <laughs> in the house. Yeah, let's, let's leave it there. Um, okay. At some point, maybe I'll come back and show you what it looks like when you're 
better at this <laughs> when you're more powerful. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm super excited to get into this and you know draw my own maps and stuff and take notes in my journal. Um, so yeah, that's super. <laughs> Side joke says that was a nice chat. Now excuse me while I murder your friend. Here. <laughs> He um he seemed very suspicious of us. So, I but then, know. the the best worst part of it is he murdered <laughs> our party member and then just like stood around uh -huh. like what? Yeah, yeah. So she was looking at me funny. <laughs> what? <sighs> Thank you for joining everyone. Uh, that was Serpent yeah. in the Staglands. You can get that right from the developer's site. At, I think it's just serpentinthestaglands.com or on Steam. Yep. Um, but if you get it from them, they, you can get a Steam key and they get more money, I think. So. Um, I think you can also get, like, when I ordered it, I got, like, a, an extra PDF with, it's like Erline's Journal or something, and it has a whole bunch of it, like, in game lore and stuff. So oh, that's yeah, pretty cool. Nice. Um, and I have that to read too, so I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read up before I continue this game. Um, but I'm excited about it. I'm Kelsey. You can find me on the internet at kelseyr713.rocks and at nerdybutflirty.com. I'll have a review up of Regency Solitaire probably Tuesday. Um, that's what it's looking like right now. Um, and where can we find you, Nick? Uh, my name is Nick Scratch. You can find me at nickscrat.ch. And you can follow Stream Friends at twitch.tv slash streamfriends, at streamfriends on Twitter, and streamfriends.tv. Have a good night, everyone. Yay! Good night. Bye.